Welcome to Lesson 2.3. In Lesson 2.3, we're going to teach you how to add integers on a number line. Now, number lines uh, are easier to actually do the adding on, but you end up having to do more work because you have to keep drawing the number lines. So when we get a little bit further, you're going to have an opportunity to choose whichever way you wish. Most of you, from my experience, will probably want to go away from the number lines add the tiles and just go straight to symbolic and that is uh, that is okay because in the end that's where we have to get to so let's talk about adding integers on a number line you can add integers on a number line by moving to the left or to the right depending on whether you're adding a negative or a positive to add a positive you're going to move to the right to add a negative you're going to move to the left and we're going to do what's called bubble jumping so to add positive 5 plus positive 4, what you're going to do is you're going to start at the 0 and you're going to move to the negative 5. Oh, I guess I said positive 5. So you can start with adding negative 5 plus positive 4. So start at the 0 and move to the negative 5. Okay? Now to do that, you're going to start at 0 and you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you'll notice I've got the first number on the top. Now, then what we're going to do is we're going to move to the positive 4. So you're going to move um, 4 to the right, because it's a positive, going to the right, and 4 numbers. So then you're going to move 4 jumps to the right. Okay, so 4 jumps to the right side to show the positive 4. Now I'm going to go under the line to keep the negatives and the positives separate. So now I'm going to go 4 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Now where I ended up, I'm going to circle it because that's my answer. So here was the negative 5. I went 5 to the negative side. Here is my positive 4. I went 4 to the positive side. And I ended up right here. There's your answer. So how do I mark this? Well, negative, positive, and your answer. It's really straightforward. Okay, turn the page. Now, positive 2 plus negative 4. I've drawn this one for you to show it. The first thing you do, you're going to start at 0, and you're going to move 2 units left. That's going to take you from here to here. 1, 2. Then you're going to move 4 units left again. Now why left again? Well, you'll notice this is also still negative. So I'm going to go negative again. Now with my, my computer, I can show it quite clearly probably easier for you just to drop down and do that there on the bottom. The final answer is going to be negative 6. So negative 2, negative 4, and your final answer negative 6. Okay, so this leaves you at the negative 6 location. Now, what happens when I have two positives? Well, you start at the 0. You're going to move three units to the right. So here's my 0, 1, 2, 3. And then, because I'm going to be adding a, a positive 4 to that, I'm going to move 4 units to the right again, or no, to the right again, because I'm going 4, and it's a positive. 1, 2, 3, 4. Final answer, positive 7. So you can see that adding on an integer line is actually fairly straightforward. Now, let's turn the page. I'd like you to try this question negative 2 plus positive 5. And then I'm going to do some examples. So pause the recording and do this question. Okay. So because it's negative 2, I'm going to start to move 2 units to the left. So it's going to look like this, starting at a 0, 1, 2. Now I'm going to move 5 units to the right because this is a positive number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Final answer, positive 3. Simple as that. Okay, so let's go on to get you, get you, if you have access to this, it would be nice. If not, you're going to have to draw some. If you're having difficulty and you want to come and drop by the school, I do have sheets of these where you can grab them. Or if you want, you can go on the internet and you can very clearly um, print of them by the by the dozens. So let's take a look at the first one, okay? So I'm going to just make sure so this can't go away. I'll lock it in place, then I can't erase it. Okay, there we go. All right, so my first question I want you to do 
as we want to do negative 6 plus positive 13. All right, so let's see if you can do this without my help. I'll give you a couple of seconds, pause the recording, and then try it. Okay, negative 6. Start at the 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's your negative 6. Now, positive 13, it's positive, so we're going to go to the right. So underneath, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There's my answer. Positive 7. All right? Let's have you try another one. How about positive 7 plus negative 2? So, pause the recording and do this question. Okay, positive 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Negative 2 is going back to the negative way. 1, 2. Final answer, positive 5. How am I going to mark this? Negative, positive 7, sorry. Negative 2. And, of course, positive 5. Okay, so remember, order is important. I want you to start getting that into that uh, habit. This is the first one. This is the second one. Very important that you do that because you start when we go into subtraction, you start messing up order or you don't think it's important. All your subtraction questions will be incorrect. Okay, let's have you try one more and then we'll move on to your assignment. So let's have you try. How about negative six? plus positive 4. Okay, pause the recording and do that question. Okay, negative 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, final answer, negative 2. So if you have a stack of number lines, doing addition of integers on number lines is really easy. The one problem you might encounter on your assignment is that sometimes what happens is the answers go beyond your number line. Sometimes they can be beyond positive 10 or beyond negative 9, in which case if you have room, just extend your number line over so that you can make it work. Okay, so that takes us to the end of this lesson. If you have any questions, you can come and see me.